Yo, so guys, this is my turn to listen to more of the Samucha sub sub called Q&A with our premium members from YouTube. Alright, so there's gonna be some YouTube comments this time. We're not gonna do more with, like, the, um, the normal, um, comments, or, you know, normal people who, uh, aren't premium. I'm pretty sure they will. Um... Yeah, I'm so excited for this. Oh, hold on, hold on. There's an ad. Hold on, give me a minute. Hold on. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, folks. You're welcome, superstars. Alright. Five, four, three, two, one. Premium members. Yes, I, I knew that. Just was in the middle of the intro. <laughs> what? what do you think Wait, hold on, hold on. This dude's in your headset. Do it. I don't know if that'd be funny to cut you off. Are you surprised? We're asking you a question. You saw the gun. Premium members on on YouTube. The thing that the premium oh. subscriber thing, whatever it is. It, it, the members. Hi, the members. Uh, we got these questions from the Discord Premium Chat, which is an exclusive chat for all you Premium members to hang out in our public Discord. Yep. <sighs> Beginning with our first question coming from one of our moderators. To both what Sun and Moon, what do you do when you wake up from a really bad nightmare? Do you try to shrug it off and go back to sleep, or get up and do stuff to take your mind off of it? Go see if anyone else is awake to talk, etc. Well, that's a good really question. Bad nightmare. Uh, I've had one really bad one. Okay, really bad nightmare. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to try to answer these questions as well. Um. Okay. I don't get too many bad nightmares. I mean, I have, like, some mild nightmares, but not too bad. Uh, I think I just wake up and, like, like, look around for a few seconds, and I just go back to sleep. Like, maybe after, like, a couple of minutes, I would say. Yeah. It also depends on what it is, too. Recently. Is it living with me? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, how do you cope with that? I don't know. Bottle of gin. <laughs> um, nightmares. Bottle of gin? So, basically alcohol. <laughs> I don't really do nightmares too often. Um, Usually I just kind of close my eyes and I wake up the next day. I've had some recently. I How do you feel with them then, Moon? I try and just do stuff with my hands. I just, until I ah. get my mind off of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, okay. that's your answer. To Sun and Moon from Moon Goddess Kiki. If you could go back in time and change one thing, what is that thing you would change? Let me guess. Let me guess. Eclipse. This is going to be Eclipse. Not leaving my kill code inside of Sun. So basically, eclipse. Oh, that's that's uh, that's really the only one. Or that's literally the only thing. Blacklisting ruins dimension preemptively. That's true. Maybe not letting you build a portal. I would have done that anyway. Uh, <laughs> Whether you were aware of it or not, which is a matter of circumstance. No portal. To me, from. Wait, but then again, if there was no eclipse, you wouldn't have lunar. <laughs> you know. Dead Blood Zero. Oh. What part of working in the daycare did you enjoy most before you stepped away from actively working with the kids? I'm gonna I'm gonna say the answer to this, and I'm gonna get bombarded with some some. Oh wait, hold on. Let me guess. Lullabies. Going forward from people. Uh -huh. Um, the singing, like lullabies and stuff. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. You will never hear that, by the way. You can ask as much as you want. You're not gonna hear it. Yeah. The only person who's ever heard it is probably going to be Dazzle. Even though that's very rare. I know. Alright. Next question. From Soren Sebastian. Soren Ooh. slash Sebastian. Okay. Uh, to you, son. Are you bald? What? Yes. Are you he bald? Is. He is. is. Soren Sebastian. Your commentary on my hair <laughs> is lackluster at best. <laughs> you incompetent, unfulfilling... Ridiculous travesty of a person <laughs> can take a 
Tom, it's outside. <laughs> yes, she is. Yes. <laughs> All right. From the same person to me. Moon, have you moved on from sandwiches to try new culinary delicacies? Or culinary delights is the word. Delicacies? No, sandwiches were delicacies. <sighs> Shut up. It depends on the sandwich, actually. Oh, really? Well, if it any try, Moon. I mean, well, I do have a port of Cereal? I do have a portal that lets me go anywhere. In both the world and in any dimension. Ooh. What? I've tried a plethora of different cereals. Uh, I've tried a plethora of different sandwiches. Ooh. I have tried sushi. Ooh. I have tried uh, a lot of Indian food. Uh, not a lot of Mexican food. I want to try more of that. I mean, Mex Mexican food is not my thing. Um, I mean, I guess there was some things I kind of did like, but, I don't know, Mexican food, it's, like I said, it's not really my thing. Okay. Like, I don't know if you could really call tacos at this point Mexican food and how Americanized they are. Mm. Well, yeah, but, okay. I do like Italian food, though. I like Italian food. I also do like Chinese food, too. Yeah, hello. I don't know. Just, uh, expanded your palate from cereals and sandwiches. Barely. But you have. I have. It's just sandwiches are very easy. You need, like, three items for them. Yeah, it depends what, you're, what sandwich yeah. you're making. Cheese, bread. That's, there's more you can add to that. I know, but if you're just w looking for something to quickly eat, you only need three ingredients. Do you not toast your sandwiches, Moon? Sometimes. Depends. on type sandwich. Do you use, perhaps, a grill sandwich maker? A mini press? No. <laughs> I don't know what you Like a little thing that makes tiny little triangles. That's a panini press. No. Sandwich maker. I refuse to believe you otherwise. Next question. <laughs> Next question. From Lulu slash Luna Midnight. Do Sun and Moon. If you do dress up for Halloween, what will you be this e for this year? Oh. Mad scientist. Huh. Ooh. What? Mad scientist. Ooh. Creative. Very creative. <laughs> okay. Well, to be honest with you guys, what we usually do for Halloween is we just kind of dress up as ourselves. Also... For the last two years, we haven't been able to celebrate Halloween! That is also true. Maybe this year we, we have never been able to celebrate Halloween! On this show. Yeah, we haven't. No! Never! Yeah, okay, so for this Halloween, I'm thinking about dressing up as Solar. Would you guys like to see that? Me dressing up as Solar? Don't worry, I'll uh, take a picture of myself and uh, I'll show you guys. I mean, I'm not sure if I'm going to put on like, face paint or not. Um, maybe I will. Uh, to Equinox's number one fan, Equinox number seven. It's gonna be Ben 10. What? What? What about Ben 10? I was gonna be Ben 10 or something. Oh, you can dress up as Ben 10. Fair. Yeah. Well, what, what age, Ben 10? Probably the teenager one, because that was tall. And cool. Um, yeah. Alien Force is the best Ben 10 series, so I won't take any arguments. I'm going to uh, Ben 10, so all right. uh, From Equinox to Sun and Moon, how do you feel about your entire lives being publicly broadcasted to the world for the world to see? Does it ever make you uncomfortable? P.S. If you ever see Ruin, tell him his entire fan council says hi. We haven't Aww. seen Ruin in so long. Correct. And also, to be very honest about the whole uh, fan our thing, thing. Yeah. our live being broadcasted daily pretty much, uh, I don't know why we're still being broadcasted. Yeah, with how violent it gets, I'm surprised it still gets passed. Yeah. Yeah. People have died I on think. camera. Yeah. What? People have died on camera. Oh, yeah, people yeah, have died. Straight up died on camera. YouTube's terms of services have really gone down a hill. But, yeah, you know, true, we're... true. Because, um, uh, hold on. Uh, I'll be back in a you met superstars. I have to go somewhere. Alright, bye. For now. Alright, I am back. And it was like, a second for you guys, but it was like an hour for me. Uh, context, I was at the eye doctor, okay, so. 
Yeah. I just really hate being interrupted during my recording sessions. So, yeah. What we're talking about? Oh, yeah. Um, YouTube terms of service. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so I'm going to continue off of what I was saying. Um, yeah, YouTube is very unfair when it comes to guidelines. Like, for example, like, one channel can upload, like, the most horrific, disgusting stuff on the platform. And, like, zero consequences, fully monetized. But if, like, a smaller creator, like, does the exact same thing, they're, one, gonna get a strike. Two, um, possibly get that, a that video age restricted. And possibly... Decrease the chances of maintaining a platform. Yeah, YouTube keeps updating the rules to a lot. Like monetization rules. Where it's like, when well, you're okay this morning or whatever, as long as it wasn't like 30 seconds within the video. You know? But like, I don't know. Anyway, let's get back to it. They just banned for no reason. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try to scan for practices or something. Wasn't there some other uh, Oh, yeah, Steel Wool Studios got taken down for no reason. Oh, yeah, that's right. That is right. I did hear about that. Steel Wool, Steel Wool Studios got taken down for no reason as well. Yeah. That also happened. I forgot about that, actually. Not sure why. I did. It's almost like they rely on AI to do all the stuff for them now. Yeah. You too, I mean. Why? Yeah, that's a bad idea. Anyways. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, Alright. Why don't we stop it? We can't. What do you mean we can't? It's legal. Are we signed to a contract or something? It's legally signed. What, does the editor have our lives just to... to, to what? They get uploaded to the cloud and then Fazbear sends them to one editor. Oh my god. <laughs> I hate Fazbear. Yeah. Yeah, and I hate YouTube. Yeah, YouTube and Fazbear, they're very similar. Because they just do not care about their people whatsoever. I hate Fazbear. Continue! Yeah, uh, next question. From Aurora slash Moonlight uh, to Sun. Do you ever... Oh. Do you still compulsive clean when you get anxious? I just clean all the time now. When I get Fair anxious, enough. I just kind of sit there. I've learned to not take my anxiety as a, uh, as a what? Outlet for activities. Yeah. Outlet. That's a word. Yeah. I've learned exercise to kind of control myself a little. Maybe help sometimes. Yeah. But uh, cleaning doesn't really help in that regard. And I think that, like, Sun isn't, like, too over-obsessive about, like, cleaning. You know? Like, for example, if there's, like, a little speck of dirt, like, would Sun go crazy or no? I mean, I would think not, but at the same time, I don't want to find out. Especially when, uh, the floor's already a shining marble. Sometimes I forget that. If anymore, the amount of chemicals would start burning through the floor. Yep. Sometimes yeah. we forget that, and we get floors like that nowadays. That's wood. It's a shine. Alright. <laughs> not say it's not. To me, from Aurora. What did your son's cats when you found them, man? Where were they in the old room in the daycare? Under his bed, aka under the couch. He'd been using that little house in there to like hide their food and water. What? What? What did you um find that out? So and I knew for months. <laughs> no, no, I don't, I don't think I have cats at all, actually. So and I actively live with them. What? What they cats? Have, they own one of the cats ones in the <laughs> house. Moon, I don't know no cats. I with that gig about? again. There's no cats in this house. You know? Yeah, I mean, I know. Like at first, it was like a like a little gag thing because Davis actually has cats in real life, and that uh, apparently Matt does as well. Uh, yeah, I think uh, Davis's cats are named Mizu. I think that's how you pronounce it, and the uh, bear. Mizu and Bear. They're so cute. 
I like Weezer a lot. Crazy! I have no problem That's with a the joke. Cats. That's a joke, by the way. Yeah, I hope so. I have no problem with the cats. They're fine. Yeah. The spiteful one. The black and white one? Yes. Yeah. I, I will grudge. dump a bottle of water over his head. <laughs> no. It happens. Don't stopped. do that they're really bad. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure that would piss off the cat. Stop clawing all my clothes. You don't wear clothes. It keep the pants and the hat and possibly the boots or slippers, whatever you want to call them. The ruffles. It's are clawing through my pants. And I have a lot of hats. How many hats could you possibly have? Fifty. Fifty? Fifty? Of the same hat? Or just grow some hair like mine. That's anyway, not hair. I can unscrew the hair. You can't. Yes, I can. I doubt it. Anyway, I what? actively repurposed your body. I doubt it. Anyways, <laughs> don't wake up in the morning. All right. Ah, uh, no. Nah. Uh, to both of us, who looks after the special needs kids? Do you have any specific plan? If oh, that's a good question. Like, is it like between like the both of them who takes care of the special kids? Um. I mean, I would think Moon, right? He's like the more quiet one. Then again, doesn't he like listen to like rock music or something? Something happens. He gets thrown to the daycare like a fire. Uh, we oh. do we do have uh, overall safety protocols for the daycare and etc. Uh, Just like everybody in general. Yeah, because we legally have to have those. Yeah. Also, we're technically legally supposed to have windows. Yeah, but, but uh. <laughs> Earth and Lunar are the ones that usually deal with um, Primarily Earth. that stuff. They are like more calmer, I guess would be the word. I don't know what it is. I mean, Lunar, not so much. I mean, Earth, yeah. Earth is more calm around the kids. I mean, okay, I mean, okay, if I, if I were to choose between the two of them to go for, like, special needs kids... Um, I would say maybe Moon, like I said before, because he is a little bit more calmer, I would say, in some ways, but at the same time, he's really not. I mean, technically both Sun and Moon, they can be pretty unhinged at times, especially when it comes to, you know, kids. Yeah, primarily that looks like a special thing. thing. They were yeah. more specially designed for that. To be fair, Fazbear didn't put the tools necessary for me. Yeah. Also, Fazbear kind of sucks. Didn't yeah. our dad say, like, they rushed him or something? I guess. Didn't I mean, they? he just sold us off with not? money. I don't, I don't know. And imagine being an orphan, but you were sold by your parent. <laughs> <laughs> From Mama Ham, or Mama Ham, however you want to say it. All right. To Sunrise and Moondrop. When you're feeling like you... What we're feeling when you learned that it was Eclipse who brought Solar back, were you conflicted or confused? Confused. Uh, yeah, confused. I still don't get why he did that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. To prove that he was better than Moon, that's why. He does want. Well, I'm being told he didn't need to leave? I don't know. He I just chose know. to. The two sun, is your magic similar to magic in D&D, &D, or is it a completely different ballgame? Completely <laughs> different ballgame, I think it's that for him. I think it's just, like, I based it off of D&D &D a little bit, like, you know, the whole fireball, Wait. firebolt. I don't, like, I don't play Dungeons and Dragons, by the way. <laughs> but I guess if you guys want me to play, I guess I could. I don't know. Yeah, it, but I'm it's not like spell slots. For the sake of, we know our lives are pu consistently publicized, so we kind of think, make, say things to help with understanding. But I'm not limited, like, spell slot wise. Like, I can only do a number of spells a day or something. You do have a limited amount of mana. Yeah. So, if you want to call that spell slots, I guess. Think of it like this. I can do... I could do, like, two, maybe three ninth level spells, technically. Oh, wow. If I knew how to do them. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. The fact that D&D was Ma able to cast one ninth level spell and a long rest is absurd. They're literally the magic guys. Yeah. But also, yeah. D&D's like the easiest thing to do. To me from Mama Ham. What's your take on Nexus attempting to use the law of equivalent exchange as a means to bring loved ones back? Right, that's what he was trying to do. You see, yeah. if he would have watched uh, Full Metal Alchemist, he would have realized that doesn't ever go well. The robot. <laughs> there, 
There's no such thing as equivalent exchange when it comes to human life or animatronic or life in general. The robot. Yeah. Robot. I don't know what to call him. What? I don't know. Dog. Oh. What? The chimera. <laughs> the chimera. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, Fullmetal Alchemist. Life doesn't. You can't. You can't recreate life. Life is a one and done deal. If a life is lost, it cannot be brought back through natural True. means. I just don't know what is going on. I mean, okay. Well, I know there's, like, been some, like, instances where people have, like, come back from the dead, like, for, like, a brief period of time. Um, I, well, sometimes it's usually from, like, people just, like, waking up or whatever. Like, a shock to their system or whatever. I think there's, like, another way you can kind of bring someone back for, like, a short amount of time. Or whatever. It's, like, um... Using like shock paddles or whatever they're called, defibrillators, whatever they're called, or whatever, CPR. Like, guess that's kind of a way, but at the same time, not really. Not really fully. What happened with Solder too much? I don't know what Eclipse did. I'm not going to ask. I'm just going to give it a thumbs up and move on. Only one good he did out of the 2000. <laughs> From Ava YT. To Sun, how can you feel the Wither Shards? Like, how can you sense them? You think I, I know that? Works. You think I know how I do that? It just, I, okay. it just they might is. They might be asking what the sensation feels like. Yeah. Like it feels like it feels like pins and needles, but like in oh. your brain. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm gonna know what that feels like. Okay. You know that feeling of when like you, you, you crush your arm for a bit too long and then you get off and it's like your arm feels like all staticky and stuff? It's like that, but in my head. No? Mm, gross. And then it like slowly goes down to like my neck, my torso, <laughs> my arms, etc. It just, it's a very weird feeling. Would you call the stick that connects our torso to our head our neck? I don't know what to call it, but that's probably the most apt description for it. That's fair. Since I eat food, yeah. does that mean it goes down that pipe? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> You're now just... Questioning that? <laughs> I mean, I guess then again, I know there was like that one episode where like some like question was like, how is any food gonna fit down my gullet? <laughs> you guys remember that episode? I think I'll put it right here, actually. Huh, I don't like that at all! Why do you eat? What, what? I don't eat? What? Why and how? Him! How, how do you eat? About 10 years ago. Actually, no, not 10 years ago. About 17 years ago. What? Sorry, I'm playing with this thing. Do you remember? I told you there's three things you never do in life. One, never cast a spell from a dark book. Okay. Two, two don't ever speak to a spirit on a Tuesday. Three? I still don't understand that one. And three, never cast a master spell. You casted a master spell, didn't you? Yes. What? I was very young, and basically, I casted a magic spell that basically a wish. I gave animatronics the ability to become bioorganic if they wish. Me and Moon could just wish to become bioorganic no. and we just could. No. Yes. I'm not going to. Here's the thing. Good. Look at that. Bruh. How is any food going to fit down my gullet? Question involving that. Can we yes. go back if we want to? Painful, but yes. No, we're fine. So. No. Yeah, I'm good. I'm fine. I'll be fine just drinking oil. Although, again, it would be interesting to try certain things. No. I mean, how do you think I met my wife and had two sons? Yeah. Ask yourself. I don't want to ask. Point. I don't want to ask. I don't want to ask. I don't want to ask. Like, at all, in the slightest inconvenience, do what I ever want to know why you have two sons or who your wife is, actually. Because you could have a kid with Roxanne. Nope. 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 <clears throat> Shut up. Okay. You have a very skinny neck. Now I'm not gonna stop thinking about that. You can't. Yeah, I mean, you two are skinny in general. <laughs> so am I. To be fair, I don't need to breathe. So, yeah. I don't need two pipes. And if you don't even need to eat. Correct, I don't need to, but I have the compulsion because Monty thought it'd be funny. Maybe because it just wouldn't make you feel normal. Probably a bit of both. Yeah. yeah. Monty's a character. From the same person to me. Do I have any opinions on Solar so far? He's chill. Yeah. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. To both of us, what's something you two like to do? Just in general? Yeah, I guess. Oh, uh, I think I... Oh, hold on. I want to see if there's... Okay, do you think they're going to ever do a Q&A with Solar? Oh, I would love that. 
Oh, I would love that so much. That'd be so cool. There's some retro gaming recently, I guess. Ooh. Um, everybody knows I'm a tinkerer. I like making stuff. Uh, yep. So that, what do we call you, Tinkerbell? Yep, that has not changed. So they're not, I hope, to God, you're not making anything too dangerous anymore. Next question. <laughs> What do you mean, next question? Next question! Oh, sarcasm. Question for Sun and Moon. What's something that you'd be willing to spend time studying about? Internal uh, manga development. Like, what goes really? on behind the scenes there? Oh, really? Yeah. He's told me a little bit about that. I don't even know where to begin with that. So I'm out of that league entirely, right? Uh, to Sun. What's something you do to calm oh. down when you have to go through a rough moment? Something I do? To calm down. Yeah. Define cats. rough moments, because they're... <laughs> That's a good point. There's like uh, a lot of rough moments What did you do lives. when I died? I just cried. Oh, There's your oh, answer. Oh, it's okay to cry. That, that, that's it. Yeah. Learn to let yourself cry, guys. From FCAT. Uh, uh, for both of us, would you two ever consider moving dimensions like Puff and Eclipse and Foxy did? Like, for example, if things got extremely bad... Or if it got to the point, not like extremely bad things haven't happened already, uh, but you get the idea. If so, who would you bring and where would you go? We'd bring our family Everybody. and we'd yes. go somewhere where no one could find us. Yeah. Aww. Jack, Dazzle, Solar, Molten, Earth. Maybe, if you want to. Oh, Earth. If you to. Oh, Honestly, Earth. we might go to Sven's dimension. Oh. Hey. Oh, wait. Oh, you guys want to have like, what, like 50 billion siblings? Okay. It's because it seems nice there, and also there's already a sun and moon, so we can just do whatever we want. Well, yeah, cool. but wouldn't that be confusing, like, two suns and two moons and all that, or...? We have the glow function. The glow function? <laughs> That's not exactly a good way to separate us. I mean, also, I could do a thing where we could look different. Oh, oh really? I could revamp <laughs> our models. Or smash yeah, models that. Think about it, you know? Yeah. Since we're not anywhere near that right now. Uh, yet. Or Sun. How many people uh, have spoken about the possibility? Of, many people have spoken about the possibility of you adopting Dazzle. Do you already actually see yourself as her parental figure or something else? I think we've already kind of adopted her. This is not verbally stated. Uh, Dazzle needs a good role model in her life, and someone that's a lot more stable, kind, and stable. Less maniacal, evil genius. <laughs> oh my god, it sounds like about Moon. Uh, You're saying a lot of things that would iterate towards me. Well, that was the <laughs> point. But uh, I don't know if I am or if I should. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, okay, if it wasn't Sun who would be adopting Dazzle, who do you think it would be? I don't know. I mean, someone who's like less evil and more stable. I would say the person who's the most stable is probably Solar, right? I'm not saying that. I'm not just saying that because Solar's my favorite character, but I'm being honest here. I mean, I guess Solar would be a good parental figure. But at the same time, he would be like super busy with like, you know, machines and stuff. I'll come back to that question another time when I probably know the answer. Yeah. The time you got drunk, you exclaimed that you don't identify as a gender. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that. I remember that. I don't identify as a gender. Something you said in the moment, or do you actually identify as non-binary, agender, something of the sort? Did you always know that you you're, uh, know that about yourself, or is it more of a recent thing? That's a good question. Um, I... Probably pretty much always known. I'm probably. Yeah, I mean, probably a gender or non binary. I mean, technically, all of the Amatronics are non binary, but I think some are more specific than others. Like, Freddy, Chica. Well, I guess, well, Chica's female. We all know that. But I guess, like, the other ones, I guess. Well, I guess Mango Wee. Kind of like. You know. If you know what I'm saying here. Probably agender. 
I, I don't identify with it really any form of Someone gender. owes me ten bucks. What? <laughs> is this Monty? Did you just make a bet? I did. Fair enough. I realize now Monty's made some very bad influences on me. Gambling's fine in moderation. Still owes me ten bucks. Gambling is fine in moderation anyway. <laughs> in the previous Q&A, you mentioned that you prefer dogs over cats. Uh, this is a question for me. Uh, oh, so, that, if you were to question. get a dog, what dog breed would you get? Oh, that's, oh, that's a good question, actually. Hmm. Alright, what kind of dog does he like to move with, like? Well, he probably wants a chill dog. I mean, I mean, I'll say pug. Um, I mean, they're kind of chill, but they're also kind of vocal and uh, food driven, that's for sure. But I mean, I have Lily. She's pretty chill. Lily's a, a puggle, a pug and a beagle mix. She's like very chill the majority of the time, you know. But I will say, if you are planning on getting a puggle or a pug or whatever, I will say you do have to be aware of ladder stones, possibly, if you're ever gonna get a puggle or whatever. Or you just got a puggle or whatever, then you do you do need to be on the lookout for bladder stones because pugs are pretty prone to that. You know. Sure. Shepherd, border collie, uh, borzoi, great name. Can I take a guess? Go on. Terrier. I just said what it was. I didn't say what? I said great name. Great God. Dane! Oh. They're big dogs. Are you sure about that moon? I thought you gave me examples. No, oh. the, the end of the example. I thought that was a questionnaire, like you know, no. what kind of dog we should want. No, I, I'd want a Great Dane. Okay. Why? Well, I, I don't think I dogs mean, would be scared. Great Danes are, they're cool dogs, but they're big. <laughs> the cats aren't scared of us, and they're tiny. That is true, but also a Great Dane could crush Lunar, and I think it'd be funny. No. no, no. Not like hurt him, but like the Great Dane could walk up to Lunar. Plot down on Stomp on him. <laughs> that would be funny. And you cannot tell me that Lunar being stuck under a dog going, Help! 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 Would not be funny. No. No, no, no solar. Lunar's fine. We're making a joke. Uh, Alright. Uh, <laughs> Wait, solar came in. Help! Help! Would not be funny. No. No, no, no solar. Oh, yeah, that was... <laughs> Fine. We're making a joke. Uh, All right. Uh, wait, was he pissed? Next question. I'm, I'm skipping the several amounts of questions from our moderator. Oh. <laughs> uh, the one that you torment on a daily basis in Cult of the Lamb. Pass them again. Wait. Which one is it? Let me ask the question. Ask one of their questions. Okay. Uh, would you like? Wait, you said one of the moderators. Wait, do you mean like? Do you mean Meg? Do you mean I am a ninja? Is that what you mean? Because if so, yeah, I mean, I, mean, I don't technically hate her, but I don't really like her that much either because she was one of the moderators that got me banned off this pure beat show. This course ever, by the way? So, yeah. It's very reasonable to have, like, somewhat of. A negative outlook on somebody if they're like associated with something or whatever then yeah I'm sure many of us can agree on that that like at least one of us has or yeah like there's like a few of us that will like despise like someone um, in like a group that more like said like that like this like someone who's like associated with a certain group or whatever. Yeah. For the mean one. Shut up! Okay. Jeez. Anyway. Uh uh Alexand Alexander is yes asks for both of us. What's your favorite game that you've streamed for the channel? That's a Call to the Lamb. Yeah, that's a pretty obvious answer for him from him. That's my obvious answer. What's yeah. about you? Well I was gone for a so, is yours Elden Ring? God, I wish that would have done better. <laughs> uh, 
I, I wish I could play Souls games. I wish. I love them. You guys understand, we would have been playing the crap out of Souls games if we could. I, I hope you will understand. We would have long gameplay series if you watched the video. Video? Yeah. Watch the gameplays. They won't. I mean, I kind of watch the gameplays. I mean, sometimes I'll just have the gameplay just in the background and I'll just be doing something else. Like, completely stupid or whatever. Like, I don't know, like, playing VR chat or, oh, playing, like, Sims 4 or something. And I'll have, like, the gameplay in the background. Probably listen to music with the VM in the background, you know. I know it might be less than some important lore, but, I don't know. You guys will probably tell me anything. I know. From Galaxy Sugar. Uh, Galaxy Sugar. Sugar. Wait, hold on. Galaxy Sugar. I think I... Wait, hold on. Uh, did, have I ever heard of Galaxy Sugar? I think I have. I think so. I think we're part of a collab or something. Um, unless I'm thinking of something of someone else. Wait, no. Wait, no. Wait, no. I think I do recognize that username, by the way. Um, I think it was... Uh... It was the Stuck Inside map that was hosted by Beskibu. Yeah, I think so, yeah. I recognize Galaxy Super, yeah. What was one of your favorite dimensions to visit or would like to see? Like a cat dimension or a cybernetic cy uh, steam? Wait, hold on, wait, hold on, what? From Galaxy Sugar, uh, or Sun and Moon. What was one of your favorite dimensions to visit or would like to see? Like a cat dimension or a cybernetic, cyber oh, okay. steampunk type world? Okay, okay, so let me take a guess real quick. They're gonna say Sven's dimension. Dimension? Well, like a dimension we'd like to go to? Yeah. You wanna know what it is? Go on. Unironically, or ironically, King of Hearts. Why? So I can figure out what the hell the story is. Why? <laughs> hey. you know? Fair enough! Sora! Uh, are you this person or not? Sora! Yes. What else? Sora, were you actually chosen by the Keyblade, or was it circumstance? Sora! What happened to your mom? Sora, <laughs> did you become an orphan? That, <laughs> that was the first game! That wasn't the first game! They had a yep. mom in the first game! They never addressed her again after that! Yep. Hey, maybe they'll do it in oh. Kingdom Hearts 4, because I guess he's like living in a city. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. He's like living That's in modern hard. Tokyo. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't know. Ooh, I would. Like, you know what? I would like to go to Tokyo one day. Like one of my places I've like wanted to go to, for, like the longest time, is Japan. I would love to go to Japan. You know, maybe try some food. Maybe at Japan. You know, see what's like over there. However, I don't really know Japanese. I mean, I know they have, like, translations and, like, English and stuff. And I'm pretty sure that's what most of the world has. Um, that doesn't, or, like, English is not their first language. Um, they would translate to English. I think, like, like, here in America, we, I think I have, like, translations for, like, Spanish, I think French as well. Yeah. It just seems so weird. I will say... When Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts 4 comes out, the graphics for it look great. Amazing! I can't wait for it to run at, like, 12 FPS. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna be on the PS probably 6 at this point. Okay, I guess for me, Elden Ring Dimension. Ooh, Just so I can I walk in there with science. You will die. I want to walk into the Elden Ring world with a gun and just boggle their minds. I don't know if a simple pistol is gonna stop Mario. He never mentioned pistol. He just said a gun. A, kind of, a gun does not have to be a pistol. I think what he means by gun is by a machine gun. <laughs> he means a machine gun, son. If I hit him in the kneecaps... Dude, he's oh. swinging swords willy-nilly. It doesn't stop that. You think, you think a tiny little pistol's gonna do it? Okay, why are you implying I'm only gonna take a pistol? I can take a railgun. What are you taking then? No, you're gonna take an SMG. Or, or, how about this? A rocket launcher. 
Yes. Do a rocket launcher. Describe it. Railgun. Railgun. You don't have a railgun. You would have used that already. Wait, hold oh. on. What does a railgun look like? <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Let's see. Hold on. What does a railgun look like? Radio. Oh, oh, that's what a real gun looks like. Okay. I mean, I would still take the rocket launcher any day. That and a ray gun. I mean, that's my two main guns in Call of Duty Black Ops 4, so. Well, I have a real gun. Why haven't we used it already then? It takes time to charge. Actually, no. Not, not the, not Elden Ring. I want to go to Lies of P. Lies of, Lies of P? Yes, Lies of Pinocchio. Oh. Oh. So what do you think he meant? For both of them, what's the dumbest thing you've done? Die. Oh. Next question. From our other, from our thumbnail order. Well. Best of Night Waker. Or Night Waker? Oh. Oh, wait, is that? Hold on. Hold on. Give me a second. Wait. It's, uh, there's like, what, Kiwi, Yars, and whatever they just said? Night Waker. Okay. So, I'm assuming that's the other Thumbnails. Night Waker. That's gotta be it. This one. Like this art one. Because this one is uh, Kiwi Arts, right? This one's Night Waker. Okay. So, if I remember correctly, you're a Team Fortress 2 fan. If so, what's your favorite class? What? I'm gonna get so many hate. Oh, I'm gonna get so much hate for this to spy. What? You oh. don't know that. No, I know it's fine. Oh! I just like stabbing people in the back. Oh. God! <laughs> that sounds... That sounds bad out of context, but... Uh, I mean, there right, goes a lot. There's a lot of these. Yeah? From, uh, Star Rays, for both of us, what kind of weapon would you main in something like Splatoon? I don't know Splatoon at all. I know Splatoon. Paint roller. Okay, whatever, whatever Moon said just now, take that. The big paint roller that you swing around like a great sword. Ooh. I wish I knew what that one was, but I don't play Splatoon. You literally throw it on the ground and run forward and run people over. Again, yes. whatever Moon said. Yeah, I don't play Splatoon either. What's your favorite piece, son, what's your favorite piece of art you've ever gotten from a daycare kid? Any uh, really creative crafts you've received? Really creative crafts that I received. Okay. You get well, a lot this of macaroni one's. Art. I get a lot of macaroni art. I do. I love every single piece of art that I've ever given by my kids. Oh. I love every. By your kids. <laughs> Dang! Someone's gonna take that out of context quickly. That's funny. Piece. I save every piece too. They're every piece. A little hidden. Yes, I'm very. Nice to get Very big but scrapbook. Very big scrapbook. I see, what I usually do is if these kids uh, are staying with us for a long time and when they eventually leave, I give them a scrapbook for them because they are all the memories that we've ever made together and it, it breaks my heart a little when they go, but still, it's such a great thing that I, I just I just can't keep it forever. If kids are ever like suddenly, like there's no preemptive warning that like a kid's gonna stop showing up, son will mail it to them. I do, I do. I get boxes, I tape it, send it out their way. For me. Uh, have you been working with the kids of the daycare? Uh, have you been working with the kids of the daycare more recent, uh, more lately? We've been, uh, you've been really great with Dazzle and Jack and Bolton. Good on you, if so. Um, not particularly. It, I'm not gonna lie, it's easier for me to deal with Dazzle and Jack and Bolton. Yeah. Because, yeah, they're kids, quote unquote. Is, yeah, is Bolton a kid? I would say more young adult, I would say. Well, Dazzle was a kid, but Jack yeah. and Bolton are kids, quote-unquote, but they, I don't know, they have more comprehension. Kids of all, kids yeah. of the daycare have a very wide variety of needs and wants and attention spans and ways they need to be interacting yeah. with. And Moon has only, like, one way they can deal with kids, and that's if they listen. Not all kids do that. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. 
I might have to hang on to the mark for you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, this is the last, I think, unique person that asked the question. Oh. So. Okay. Everybody from the premium channel got their one of their questions asked. At least one of the questions answered. We have a lot of questions. They have so much stuff to do still. Yeah. Uh, from Wilted Boa to both of us, would you ever consider upgrading yourselves... Uh, to have a body like Solar's, or are you comfortable with your current models? Oh, Ooh, that's a good I don't question. Think we need an upgrade because, like, I think it'd be nice. I think it'd be fine. It's just like you know, we're not we're not in a hurry right now because yeah. we're fine. If, if you know? I did get an upgrade, I think I I do like how uh, one of the thumbnail artists for Lunar and Earth draws me as a turtle neck. The stupid turtle neck. <laughs> how dare you call that stupid turtle? Okay. It is comfortable. You look like a serial killer with a turtle. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta see. Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> hold on. Uh... Wait. Where? What is... Oh! This one! Right? Wait, no, that's... That's not Meg, no. That's... Or wait, no, wait. Maybe I'm not talking about Meg. Maybe you're talking about... Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna call them Anna for short, for short because I think that's from there. Yeah. I think they're talking about them. Yeah. Heck. Uh, you know, Dexter wasn't wrong. What? Dexter was justified. Who's Dexter? All right. You mean from Dexter's lab? We're gonna end the video laboratory? there. Laboratory? So yell at son about Dexter. Dexter's laboratory? No. What do you mean no? That is Dexter. What? Dexter, the serial killer. My oh. Is in recent history. It's a TV show. Oh. It's a book. It's a TV show or a book? Both. Thank you guys yeah, for watching. Yeah, thank you. Dexter is, by the way. I just messy with you. I'll okay. kill you. Nah, you won't. Oh. Ah. I'll strangle you. Oh. Nah, you won't. I don't breathe. Ah. I'll shake you. Ah. <laughs> All right, oh, so okay. thank you for watching. The okay. Movie. Get off me. We'll see you next time with another premium thing, maybe. Every now and then. Bye. Get. Stop it. Stop it. No. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> okay. Well, that's it for today's video, so hit subscribe and hit button to this ding dong and not come in to see some more of the sun moisture videos. And I'll see you guys next video on Yosemite Ghost.